What's up guys, I'm Chirag and welcome to part 7 of the tutorial series on Python basics tutorial. In this tutorial, I will take you through if else statement. So here basically we are simply adding a layer of logic to the if statement. So as you can see on my screen, so we had covered uh, this part in part 5 of this tutorial series that is if condition then do something. So if this condition evaluates to true, then it will do something. Right, but we didn't had the else part. What if the condition fails or it evaluates to false? So here we are going to add this logic, uh, right? So if this condition fails, then do something else. So let's have a look uh, with some example. So it can be if you are rich, I'm just taking an example, then help others. Else, what we can do is work hard. Oops, work hard, right? So that's how um, the flow is of if else statement. So let's have a look at the example. So I will define a variable. I will say put weather equal to false. Right now I will say if it is a good weather, then print. It's great for outing. Else, stay home. So let's go ahead and run this. So we'll say Python three p seven dot py. So as you can see. The good weather is false. It means uh, it's not a good weather. So that's the reason the line number 10 evaluates to false, right? Because uh, good weather is not true. And then it go to the another part that is else part and it says print stay home, right? So that's how uh, if else statement works basically. So let's have a look at the another example. So let me comment this. Let's take a variable x equal to seven, y equal to three. And I will say if x greater than y, then print x is greater than y else. y is greater than x or we can say x is not greater than y right so let's go ahead and run this so it says x is greater than y it's because x is 7 and y is 3 and as a result on line number 18 the condition evaluates to true and that's the reason this part has been executed right so if the if condition part is executed or the condition evaluates to true, then the else part will not be executed, right? So this print statement will not be executed. This will only be executed when this condition evaluates to false, right? So now if I say instead of x greater than y, if I say x less than y, then what it will say? Oh, y is greater than x, but actually y should be less than x, right? So now it's executing the else part. Now, if you remember then in the previous tutorial, that is part six, uh, we had covered logical operators. Let's try to combine those logical operators within this if else block. So let me comment this again. I will say if. So I'd mentioned this parenthesis represent expression, right? So I'll say if x greater than y and another expression. Oh, let me define one more variable that is z equal to six. And I will say x greater than z then print x is greater else uh, 
x is not greater right so what we are doing here is we are checking or evaluating two expression that x should be greater than y and x should be greater than z then only this condition will evaluate to true and the print statement will be executed that is x is greater so let's go ahead and run this if this condition evaluates to false then it will print the else part or it will execute the else part that is x is not greater right so let's run this so it says x is greater because x is 7 y is 3 and z is 6 so if we look at the expression x is greater than y that's true right so this expression is true and x is greater than z then again it's true it means the overall condition is true that's the reason x is greater now if i say x should be less than z right and let's try to run this now it says x is not greater because x less than z that condition has evaluated to false even though x greater than y is true but we are using and as a logical operator it means both sides should be true in order to return true for the overall condition right because we are using and operator now in case if i say or over here then it's going to print x is greater right because or will check for either of the sides should be true it means the overall condition is true so well uh, that's all i wanted to cover in this tutorial and as usual if you want me to do tutorial on any use case or service then please leave them below and i will try my best to come up with a tutorial as soon as possible and if you have any queries or comments then again please leave them below and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and see you next time